and in this part I'm gonna talk about how to dimensions for example for example to set um, dimensions for these vaults or for these vaults as an example so at first uh, here in the library from Revit and then selection and then here select model elements by category at first I set vaults and then I select the vaults actually here I add select model element I should have added select model elements because here we got multiple elements so again I specify the category vaults in this way and then I select the elements in this way I click on select and then click and drag I select the vaults and then finish here it is anyway after doing this uh, I'm gonna search for in elements and then in dimensions and then here I add by elements so in this part we got suffix and prefix and view to specify so to specify view uh, from elements and let me check these items so let me see what we got here all text and views let me search in the search box document and then I set the filter just on Revit very well here here I choose current document and then uh, document dot active document dot active view in this way which is for Revit so I connect these to each other so what is the view floor plan view okay so I specify the view and then I give the elements to reference elements so right now as you can see we set uh, some dimensions here in a, in a, a automatic way but I want to set the location of the di dimensions so here because we got walls I search for element dot get location the same process which we had in that last video so I specify the elements then it shows the location of the elements anyway after that um, by using of at parameter actually point at parameter I give the geometry to curve and then with a number slider I specify the parameter in this way to change the location in this way and then I define the range between minus uh, 0 0.2 and 1.2 so check it out right now in Revit if you observe the points they are modifying between 0 to 1 means that between two these two walls or the size of walls the wall itself anyway after this here if I specify the point for line then we got volume because here we should give it a, a line so here I add line by best fit through points to create a line best approximating a scatter plot of points so check it out and then I can modify the location of the dimensions in this way I select these and make a copy here Control C, Control V, and then I specify the walls up here for it. Cancel. Let me change the category to walls here, and then select. I select these walls and finish in this way. And after that, look and let me check the model in dynamo actually here the points of the elements are not set on a correct location check it out for example here suppose that um, when I was creating the walls actually I have created one of the walls inverse or unlike the others because the end and the start of the walls are different from each other but uh, here I can modify the number slider for example from minus 1.2 to 2 in this way 
for example this so check it out and then save so in this way you can set the dimensions on the walls in an automatic way but anyway here uh, in the library if you check out the dimensions there you got many items here in dimension check this out for example set above value to set the text shown above the segments value so I give the dimensions and then for a specified value I add a string and I then I consider W for example and then I connect check this out so right now we create w above the dimensions or for example set below value a specified dimension and value check this out uh, uh, below the dimensions and stuff like that I remove these or for example here set prefix and set suffix you specify the dimension and then you can add suffixes or prefixes so to give you an example let me control z to bring back the string and then I remove the W so in this way you can remove the W by removing the text so I add prefix and suffix and then I add a string and then for example I specify S for the prefix check it out or for example here we can set suffix and so on so again I remove this and then I keep this string and here we got set value override which is interesting so I give a dimension and I should specify a value and then the values will be changed in this way